All right, guys. It is a hot, sticky, miserable day here in the second collapse of civilization down here in Chuha, Mexico on this steamy, sticky... It is a Saturday, February 18, 2023, so I just did a short rant on the AI Doom bot. <coughs> and uh, I thought I was done dooming for the day and then I remembered good lord it is Saturday and uh, I was on a seven hour bus ride from hell yesterday and uh, which was Friday and totally forgot about my Manga Bay roundup my ecological meltdown roundup rant good lord how did that happen so I guess my work is just beginning, so uh, a dollar short and a day late. Here is this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant where we check in with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls over at mangabay.com to see what's on their mind this week while I have been uh, getting a haircut, uh, getting my teeth cleaned, and getting my itchy ears treated in San Ignacio, Belize. While I was doing that, this is what Rhett and the boys and girls had to tell us. Now, I found this very first story, you know, as some of you may know, that I am a former real estate flipper. I am a house flipper, uh, and I still am a little bit. And so, obviously, I was, uh, on many levels, I was, uh, interested in this story the 20 million dollar flip the story of the largest land grab in the brazilian amazon this is the story of how three individual landowners engineered the single largest instance of deforestation in the brazilian amazon the clearing of uh, 6,500 hectares or about 16,000 acres of rainforest in the southern part of Pará state could earn you know, the, these three flippers nearly 20 million dollars in profit at current land prices. The case is emblematic of the spate of land grabs targeting unallocated public lands throughout the Amazon where speculators clear and burn the vegetation, otherwise known as the rainforest, then sell the empty land for soy farms or plant grass and sell it for cattle ranching. So any uh, real estate flippers out there, if you want to make $20 million in the collapse of a planet, Go do some land grabbing in the Amazon. All right. But uh, we have the two planet saving presidents shaking hands. Yes. U.S. pledges Amazon fund donation. Renewing her. Huh? Renewing her. Huh? Renewing her. Huh? Uh, uh, oh. For the rainforest. All right. Recent talks between the presidentes of Brazil and the U.S. have spurred her, uh, have spurred her, uh, have spurred uh, up for a renewed global commitment to protect the Amazon rainforest. Yes. The U.S. has pledged to work with Brazil to strengthen the protection of the Amazon. Hmm. Reports claim the U.S. will initially donate $50 million toward the recently revived Amazon Fund, inciting disappointment among some experts who claim billions, not millions, are required to eliminate deforestation. Yes. Uh, well, it sounds like $50 million, those, those three land grabbers uh, down there, hell, you know, they're making $20 million. So, 
if they would just, you know, give half of their earnings from their one land grab, they would be 20% of the way towards the entire United States. $50 million, what is that, about 15 cents? Maybe 15 cents per person uh, to save the planet. Uh-oh. Guess what the third is? I haven't read ahead these. I swear I did not. <laughs> I did not uh, read ahead on this. This is about how tequila, how margaritas are, well, they're not killing the planet. This is how margaritas are sustainable. All right, you can continue to drink margaritas and save the planet. <clears throat> Mezcal or, or tequila, uh, you know, the stuff made from the blue agave an increasingly popular Mexican liquor has seen a 700% increase in production in the last 10 years, leading to the over-harvesting of wild agave and the expansion of monoculture plantations, which ecologists say is threatening endangered bat species and ecosystems. All right. That scientists from universities across Mexico are researching how to develop sustainable organic tequila plantations in five states that can meet the rising global demand. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, they're testing over 45,000 blue agaves to see how we can save the planet by drinking more margaritas. I'm gonna get right to saving the planet by drinking uh, a sustainable margarita when I finish this rant. So, uh, you know, Manga Bay has its own YouTube station. So this week we learn these two Doomer chicks are gonna teach us about raising baby ocelots in the pet trade. Uh, anyway, I'm going to have to watch that to see who these two Doomer chicks are. Anyway, <clears throat> moving along from Doomer chicks. Um, Alright, you got to skip over the hopium. Uh, Alright. It looks like the mangrove tourism project has failed in Sumatra. Yes. Once a bustling attraction, the Sikanang Mangrove Forest ecotourism project in North Sumatra is padlocked and falling into disrepair. Yes. Uh, Anyway, goodbye to the man, mangrove ecotourism. All right, here is how we can solve the global uh, hunger crisis by eating more trees. Okay, we'll just eat the trees. Uh, One less appreciated benefit if, of growing trees is for their leaves for human nutrition. There you go. Trees are much easier to grow than annual vegetables, being very simple to maintain once established. Huh. All right, we're just going to start eating the trees, start eating the trees and drinking more margaritas to save the planet. All right. Uh, I've heard of this place called Q, I guess K-E-W Gardens. Uh, anyway. Uh, 
All right, I guess, you know, Costa Rica always being the uh, eco poster child is now saving Costa Rica's howler monkeys with canopy bridgers. New research shows that building rope bridges over roads and buildings protects howler monkeys from needless deaths in Costa Rica. Breaks in the tree canopy from roads, buildings, and other developments such as Costa Ricans eating more trees pose a threat to howlers, which are often struck by moving vehicles or electrocuted on power lines while trying to cross these gaps. Oh, Jesus. So just build the howler monkeys bridges. It's supposed to be monkeys here at the uh, hotel. I've heard rumors that there's monkeys. Uh, I don't know if they're howler monkeys, but I haven't seen any monkeys. You know, you've been, there's getting to be more and more about all of this uh, planet eating going on under the oceans and their effects on whales. Potential impact on whales overlooked as deep sea mining set to start. Scientists say future deep sea mining activities could impact cetaceans through noise pollution, which could interfere with their communication processes. Uh, do you think so? Uh, Deep sea mining in international waters may begin later this year after the Pacific Island nation of Nauru requested accelerated approval of its mining operations. I know that Nauru, I'm having a senior moment, has been completely destroyed. I think it was bat guano. Uh, it was, was it bat guano or was it phosphate mining? What was it on Nauru that has already destroyed the land base? Uh. All right. Here is Ecuador saving the planet uh, by mapping no drill areas in Ecuador's Amazon. Do you think so? Uh, a recent study proposes a new methodology to map parts of the Ecuadorian Amazon where fossil fuel reserves must be kept untapped. Uh, how about the entire uh, Ecuador Amazon uh, oil exploration has resumed inside Yasuni National Park, advancing toward areas where isolated indigenous people live and driving swaths of deforestation in the dense forest. Yeah, that's what's going on inside Yasuni National Park. Uh, long as we're in Yasuni, let's look at the big picture. 38% of the remaining Amazon forest already degraded. According to a new study signed by 35 scientists from all over the world, more than 1 million square miles of what remains of the Amazon forest are already suffering from degradation. This is more than 10 times the size of the UK. Unlike deforestation, which can be seen by satellites, degradation is more difficult to measure, but the forest impacted can emit as much carbon as areas where trees have already been cut down. Okay. The authors state that degradation is being driven by four main disturbances, forest fires, timber extraction, 
extreme droughts intensified by climate change and edge effects such as the impact of cleared areas on adjacent forest. Uh, okay. Uh, what's going on with Vietnam's environmental organizations? A wave of recent, of recent closures of environmental organizations in Vietnam as well as the arrest of environmental leaders reflects the difficult position that activists face in the one-party state. Do you think so? Uh, anyway, so what is going on with development projects in Ethiopia? Development projects in Ethiopia leave starvation and disease in their wake. Indigenous groups in the southwest in southwestern Ethiopia are suffering from starvation and disease after being displaced from their land for construction of a dam and the installation of large-scale sugarcane plantations. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. This catastrophe has gone largely unnoticed in the shadow of green in the shadow of even wider hunger due to civil war in the region. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway. Alright, Save the Planet. Costa Rica has now stepped up to the plate again. All right, and they have banned the fishing of hammerhead sharks. Good for Costa Rica. Dog, come on now. Uh, good for Costa Rica saving the planet. They're giving bridges to howler monkeys and banning the fishing of hammerhead sharks. All right. Despite being critically endangered, hammerhead sharks so far have been bought and sold in Costa Rica for years. With demand being driven by shark fin soup. Yep, yep, yep. All right, good for Costa Rica. Here is more about Joe Biden and Lula teaming up to save the planet. Uh, okay, what's going on in sub-Saharan Africa this week? You know, they do these little bullets from uh, sub-Saharan Africa. A community in Nigeria's oil heartland is suing Shell for oil-related pollution and compensation dating back to 1989. Uh, all right, well, we do have some good news. Two teenage boys fleeing a raid by forestry offers, officers for illegal gold mining in Ghana have been found drowned, but the district chief alleges they were assaulted before being thrown into the river. Huh. Well, that's one way to crack down on illegal gold mining. Let's go over there to Zimbabwe. A lithium boom in Zimbabwe looks set to benefit foreign mining firms and exclude local communities. Huh. Drawing a parallel to an earlier diamond bonanza that has left many communities mired in poverty today. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, good Lord. Here is the third article on Lula and uh, Joe Biden getting together to save the planet. Uh, this is looking at Lula's uphill battle, which must go far beyond undoing Bozo Nero's policies. 
Yep, yep, yep. Uh, good luck on that. Uh, Skip over that. All right. Uh, here is Ecuador continues to save the planet with, all right, we have a new three million acre uh, protected area in Ecuador. Yes, the reserve is intended to help protect against drivers of deforestation like mining, logging, and cattle ranching. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, guys, the sun is going down. And I need to go save the planet by drinking a sustainable margarita here in the collapse of, the second collapse of civilization in the past couple of thousand years here in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. So uh, I highly suggest you get out there and do your part to save the planet by drinking a sustainable margarita while you still can. Bye, guys. Oh, man. It is a hot, sticky day in paradise.